you're probably familiar with the conversation that occurs online periodically about whether or not this space that you and I inhabit, particularly scrolling on our phones, makes it harder for us to connect with the world around us. I've seen an uptick in that dialogue recently. People making videos about, oh, I was out in the woods or I was in my public space at the, at the square, at the park, and I didn't feel connected to things around me, clearly there might be, or there must be, a problem. And I do believe there is a problem, but I don't believe that it's the same problem everyone else believes they're observing, so I don't believe it has the same solution. Put down your phone and you will feel more connected. I think, instead, we have a problem expecting the mundane, or rather, not being at peace with the mundane. I think one byproduct of social media is always wanting to chase the incredible experiences of others. Oh, I had this profound experience. I had this great time at the club. I had this wonderful time in the woods. And so we go out wanting to recreate that. But most of the time, and take this as somebody who's been walking out by himself around the woods for miles and miles since he was a wee little kid, most of the time, it ain't Emerson. It ain't Thoreau. It's not transcendental. It is a boring and bland and disconnected experience of being outside around other people or trees or whatever. Your heart does not beat with the forest. You are not electrically and spiritually connected to the things around you. And that's okay. I think that perhaps if we rebuilt a habit and expectation around knowing that life is often boring and there isn't much to say, there isn't anything to see on Mulberry Street, we will feel less that we are being cheated by this deceptive device in our hands. Oftentimes, it's not the device that's hurting us, it's the expectations we are putting upon each other.